a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Plus size model. Plus size model is term applied to an individual of average to larger stature who is engaged primarily in modeling plus size clothing. Plus size models also engage in work that is not strictly related to selling large sized clothing, and more, stock photography, and advertising photography for cosmetics, household and pharmaceutical products and sunglasses, footwear and watches. Therefore, plus size models do not exclusively wear garments marketed as plus size clothing. This is especially true when participating in fashion editorials for mainstream fashion magazines. Synonymous and interchangeable with plus size model is full figured model, extended sizes model, and outsize model. Previously, the term large size model was also frequently used. Plus size industry Fashion designers are starting to look more closely at the earning potential from plus size clothing and have used plus-size models for their advertising campaigns and catwalks. Jean-Paul Gaultier and John Galliano both use plus-size models in their spring 2006 showings in Paris. Gaultier also used plus-size models Marquita Pring and Crystal Wren in his spring 2011 ready-to-wear show. Italian plus-size fashion house Elena Miro now regularly stages biannual pret a porter shows during Fashion Week in Milan. Mark Fast and William Tempest each used plus-size models during their own London Fashion Week showings for spring 2009. And again as part of All Walks Beyond the Catwalk event held on 19 September 2009 in association with the British Fashion Council. Mark Fast also used plus-size models in Fall 2010, Fall 2011, and Spring 2012. Origins in North America Lane Bryant began trading in the early 1900s as a producer of clothing for expectant mothers and newborn. By the early 1920s, Lane Bryant started selling clothing under the category for the stout women, which ranged between a 38-56 inch bust line. The earliest catalogues used illustrations to sell their products, but by the mid-1950s photographs were integrated into the catalogues as the evolution of printing technology made this option available. After a hiatus through the 1960-1980 period, Lane Bryant again began using plus-size models. Specialty Model Agency Divisions Plus-size models were first represented by model agencies in the 1970s. Prior to this, models freelanced directly with retailers, designers, and magazines. Former plus-size model Mary Duffy owned Big Beauty's Little Women, the first agency specializing in plus-size and petite models in 1977. Pat Swift, a plus-size model at the time, founded Plus Models in 1978. Ford Models began representing plus-size models in 1978, and added two models to their board, including top model Anne Harper, due to demand from clients. By the late 1980s, Plus Models was the largest and most successful plus-size speciality agency, representing over 65 models, and grossing over $2 million in revenue. By 1984, Big Beauty's Little Women was successful enough to run national model searches advertised in the press. The prize included the cover of It's Me magazine, a nationally published magazine for plus-size women. Not long after, Plus Models began holding national model searches. By the mid-1980s, top plus-size models could earn as much as $150,000 to $200,000 a year. Ford Models bought Big Beauty's Little Women in 1988 later renaming the division Special Sizes and then Ford 12 Plus. Wilhelmina NYC agent Susan George started the Wilhelmina 1020 division in New York in 1994, recently rebranded W Curve. Gary Dakin headed New York's Karen Models Curves division, only to leave after a short time, to develop Ford Models Ford 12 Plus model division in their New York office in 1998. In Constantine Val Hulis 2001 Plus Size Model Documentary Curve, Dakin states, We're celebrating our 25th anniversary of the 412 Plus Division. It was the first and longest existing Plus Division in the industry. Together, these agents created agency divisions that have continued to recruit the highest caliber of models in the industry and are credited with expanding opportunities for Plus Size Models beyond working solely for Plus Size Clothing Retailers. 
Former plus-size model Becca Thorpe founded the plus-size division at Muse Model Management, a boutique fashion agency in 2011. Muse also recruits high-caliber models and had advanced opportunities for plus-size models beyond advertising. For plus-size retailers, Ford Models closed its plus-size division in June 2013 to focus on its editorial divisions. Gary Dakin and Jacqueline Sucker founded Jag Models in July 2013, which currently represents about 30 models. Size is 818. The agency does not brand its models as plus size. There are a large number of reputable agencies throughout the US and Canada, and internationally in Australia, Belgium, Brazil, Czech Republic, Denmark, France, Germany, Ireland, Italy, South Africa, Spain, Switzerland, the Netherlands, Turkey and the UK. Specialty Media and Other Ventures in North America In 1979 Big Beautiful Woman magazine began publication and was one of the first publications in the US catering specifically to plus-size clothing consumers. It ceased publication in 1995, but the BBW brand was sold onwards. Although it was resurrected in print via several editor and publisher combinations it continued to falter finally ceasing print publication most recently in the late 1990s. BBW is now an online community surrounding archived material from the magazine. In 1981, Lane Bryant began publishing its Me magazine. Along with Big Beautiful Woman, its Me was one of the few print magazines for plus-size women. In 1982, the magazine was sold to Happy Hands Publishing Company. Spiegel Catalog launched There For You from Spiegel Plus Size Collection in 1989 with Linda Waros as their official consultant and spokesmodel. The three-year For You campaign included opening brick-and-mortar retail locations in upscale shopping centers. Previously, Spiegel had only been a mail-order merchant. As part of the full-scale plus-size outreach, Spiegel produced fashion videos that featured advice from image consultant R. Rose, with commentary from some of the plus-size models who appeared in the video and catalogue. R. Rose became the fashion editor of BBW magazine after her stint with Spiegel. By the mid-1990s, All For You from Spiegel retail locations had closed. In 1995, Lane Bryant began a transformation of the brand which included large-scale fashion showings and celebrity endorsement. Queen Latifah, Mia Tyler, Cameron Mannheim, Anna Nicole Smith, and Chris Noth have appeared in advertising and or events on behalf of the brand. Lane Bryant held a large-scale lingerie fashion show to launch the Cacique and Demates lingerie collection on 1 February 2000. The 2003 final large-scale catwalk show featured Roseanne Barr as matron of ceremonies in a cabaret setting complete with Moulin Rouge-style singers and dancers. Lane Bryant was acquired by Charming Shops for $335 million in August 2001. In 2003 a cost reduction plan was announced to improve the company's pre-tax position by $45 million. Shortly afterwards, the annual Lane Bryant fashion show ceased production, with strong cooperation from Wilhelmina 1020, Curves and Ford 12 Plus Agencies, Mode Magazine, was launched in the spring of 1997. No other fashion magazine specifically targeted the plus-size consumer with a vogue-like fashion philosophy. Mode's editorial practice of providing models' names, sometimes attached to quotes on self-esteem to make them more approachable greatly aided the popularity of the models and gave them a form of celebrity. The magazine also received industry acclaim, being named the best new magazine launched by Adweek on Advertising Age in 1997. Mode ran model search competitions in conjunction with the Wilhelmina Modeling Agency, drawing entries from thousands of hopefuls from the US and Canada. Occurring shortly before the time of Mode's closure was the failure of several designers' ventures into the plus-size market. Versace, Valentino, and others ceased producing the clothing which Mode relied upon, leaving an unfortunate deficit in the fashion department wardrobes and advertising revenue coffers of Mode magazine and its successors. Its circulation was approximately 600,000 at the time of its demise in late 2001. Grace magazine was launched on 14 May 2002 by Mode magazine's last executive editor, Cesley Armstrong.
and many of the X-Mode staff as an independent quarterly publication and website under a similar concept. Even though the initial 400,000 print run sold out quickly and advertising revenue appeared high, the independent status and limited funding prohibited the ability to grow to fill the newsstand and subscription orders. Critics, however, believed that Grace featured far less stylish fashion content than its predecessor, and unwisely pursued an editorial emphasis on weight-related health issues. Grace magazine ceased operation due to lack of funding in November 2003. After publishing 10 issues, Charming Shop's custom advertorial magazine, Figure, was launched in 2002 and was revamped during 2006. Although it featured only Charming Shop's own products and related lifestyle articles, it remained the only fashion and lifestyle print magazine specifically targeted for plus-size consumers until its announced closure after the publication of the March-April 2009 issue. U.S. television program America's Next Top Model has featured contestants acknowledging the plus-size industry's relevance to fashion since the show's launch in 2003. After elimination from the competition several of the contestants have signed contracts with the Wilhelmina Agency. Although only Courtney Coles, Diane Hernandez, Takara Jones, Whitney Thompson, and Alexandra Underwood have successfully translated their TV celebrity into ongoing modeling careers. Several homegrown calendar projects featuring models over a US size 12 were launched in 2007, including the well-publicized luscious and phenomenal calendar products from North America. To date, no calendar has been successful enough to continue beyond its initial launch year. Plus Model Magazine, an online publication was launched in 2006 by Madeline Ferreira Jones, a former plus-size model. The magazine features beauty and fashion editorials, beauty and fashion tips, modeling advice and interviews with plus-size celebrities as well as people working in all facets of the plus-size clothing industry. Plus Model Magazine launched an online podcast in 2008 hosted by model, actress and host Shanice Lewis, which has interviews with plus-size celebrities and people working in all facets of the plus-size clothing industry. The magazine gained attention in many media outlets worldwide by publishing an editorial commenting on body image and the fashion industry. The editorial featured plus-size model Katya's Harkova photographed nude alongside a straight-size model. Canadian magazine Lulu has included specifically produced biannual plus-size fashion inserts featuring editorials and product pages since 2008, echoing the advertorial relationship of figure to Lane Bryant. Lulu supplement features products from Rietman's group of plus-size apparel companies on its pages. Vogue US has faltered on the continued use of recognizable plus-size models for the annual shape issue issue. However, British vocalist Adele appeared on the March 2012 cover as the first overtly larger-sized cover subject since sportsman LeBron James in April 2008. U.S. Glamour has declared it will feature more plus-size models as editorial policy after the appearance of a small photograph of model Lizzie Miller caused a groundswell of positive comment. Elle Quebec featured plus-size models three times on its cover, in May 1997. May 2013 and June 2014, high fashion print publication V Magazine featured seven agency represented plus size models in the size issue, three photographed by prominent fashion photographers. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?